viewers welcome back to mission our channel and if you're joining us for the first time welcome i want to say a big thank you to our returning and new subscribers all right please make sure you always share our videos with your friends and loved ones today i'll be doing a tutorial on how to make calendula and hemp seed oil for acne removal and eczema all right why do people have eczema you have eczema when your body when your sebum or sebaceous gland does not produce enough oil to moisturize your skin that is why you have eczema and why do you have acne you have acne when the pores of your skin are clogged do you understand when you have an oily skin and you also put products that will prevent the skin from perspiring when you put comedogenic products on your skin you begin to have acne you can have acne when your body system is dirty and is trying to get rid of the dead in it when your body system is dirty what you are supposed to do is to detoxify your body system how do you detoxify your body system there are certain roots hemp and fruits in the market or even in your garden and kitchen that you can use to detoxify your system you can use things like turmeric you can use things like lemon peel orange peel you can use moringa you can use neem you can use beetroot you can use carrots you can use a whole lot of things out there to detoxify your system they are very numerous and you can even take green tea or green juice in order to detoxify your system all right if you cannot and if you do not detoxify your system and the system becomes so dirty the system will start looking for places that it can use to get rid of the dead in it and that is why you begin to have things like breakouts all right when you begin to have breakouts it could be that your system is trying to pass an information to you it's trying to tell you please detoxify me your system is trying to tell you to please detoxify it all right another thing is you could have excessive oily skin then you put comedogenic products on your oily skin Comodogenic products are products that your skin does not really absorb it, but they provide a kind of shy to the skin. E.g., you have things like petroleum jelly, and we also have some comodogenic products that the skin absorbs them. However, they are not so very safe. They are very, very high in fatty acid when you use those products your skin begins to complain because it already has excessive oil that is why the safest practice on skincare regimen is to avoid comedogenic products having said that let me go ahead and introduce you to the materials or ingredients that we'll be using to make this acne and eczema remover oil 
All right. To make this oil, you will be needing hemp seeds. Yes, guys, you heard me, hemp seeds. Hemp seed is the seed that is obtained from the cannabis that people smoke or the Indian hemp or hemp leaves, hemp leaves that people smoke in order to get high. Now, you might ask the question as to whether we want to get high by using this seed. No, 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 no. Very far from it. We are not interested in that chemical that makes one high in your hem leaves. Your hem leaves contains THC. THC is what makes a person high after smoking or eating hem leaves. But your Indian hem or hem seed contains very minimal quantity of the THC. It's 0 0.03 something you will hardly know that it even exists in this oil. Your hemp seed contains vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and it also contains some fatty acid that nourishes the skin, such as your omega-3 and 6 fatty acid. This acid or fatty acid helps very well in nourishing the skin and is equally very, very good for the body system. And that is why some people add a little bit of this oil in their food. But for me, I would advise that you do not add this seed or the seed oil in your food, except prescribed by a doctor. However, as a cosmetologist, I can give you the go to use this seed oil any day, any time in your skin regimen. In fact, if I was you, I'll make sure that my cream and my soap contains this very seed oil. How do you prepare the seed for the oil? You see the seed as it is. It also contains small, small leaves. Even though the seeds were picked, it still contains some leaves of the cannabis. So what you do is to wash the seed with salt water thoroughly. When you wash it three times with salt water, then you can use a heat medium, either your gas or your stove to heat it up in order for it to dry. I'm not saying you should fry or roast it. Just dry out the water from it. And that little heat that you'll be using to dry the water from it will also stimulate the heat, the seat. All right? Then when you finish, you can pour it in a flat medium and kind of blow the leaves and the dust away from it, okay? Then when you are done, you can grind these seeds using either an electric or manual grinder. If you are in a place where you do not have manual or electric machines or even automatic machines, then you can use your grinding stone to grind it, or you can use a, a mortar and a pistol to pound it to a powder, all right? By the time you are done pounding it, then you will have the powder like this. As it is, if I press out the oil from this powder, the oil will come out. But I'm not interested in doing that because I'm not producing just hemp seed oil, all right, guys? I'll be teaching you on the channel on how to make hemp seed oil on its own. If you want to make hemp seed essential oil, 
because it contains its own oil. So if you want to make its own oil, then I'll be teaching you in time how on how to make hemp seed oil. The next thing you will be needing will be your calendula. Calendula is packed up with many vitamins in it. And it's also packed up with nutrients. Calendula is an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antifungal. It is also known to cure many skin diseases like eczema, psoriasis, and diaper rash. How do we prepare our acne and eczema removal oil? We will need a base oil for this preparation. Here with me, I have 250 ml of my olive oil. Then I have four tablespoons or 60 grams of my hemp seed powder. Here with me, I have just a quarter handful or you can say two tablespoons of my calendula flour. All right. So these are the three things we need. Then we need a fragrance for people that are not allergic to fragrance. There are some skins that are allergic to fragrance. All right. So we have the fragrance we'll be using. And here I have lavender fragrance. The next thing I'm going to do is to on my gas. I'll put on my gas stove. Then I'll use a stainless steel pot. Make sure the heat on the gas is low. Okay. Then open your olive oil and pour into your pot or container. Then allow the oil to heat up a little bit. Then you pour your calendula flour. Before you use this flour, make sure it is thoroughly washed and dried. Wash it with salt water and dry it because you're going to put it on your skin. And you know you're removing, you're using it to remove a, a, a problem, a challenge from the skin. So you do not use dirty ingredients on your skin, all right? Use what you can eat. If you can use this flour to make calendula tea, then you can use it on your skin. But if you cannot use it, don't put it on your skin. If you can eat it, don't put it on your skin because your skin is going to eat it. It will absorb it, all right? Our oil is hot, so you pour your calendula flour under this low heat. It will begin to boil. You know, the boiling point of oil is very low, so it will start boiling and it will stimulate the flour. All right? Allow it to boil for five to ten minutes under this very low heat. Then you bring it down. You put off the, the gas and you bring it down, all right? Put off your gas and bring your calendula oil down. All right. Then you allow this oil to cool a little bit. When it cools, pour in your hand seat powder. Pour in your hand seat powder into the oil all right and stir all 
Okay, so now you can transfer your oil into the container. This is your hand seed and calendula oil. I've infused everything in olive oil I showed to you recently. I'm going to allow this to infuse for two weeks, after which I will strain it and sieve it with a cheesecloth, all right? By the time you sieve your hemp seed and calendula oil after two weeks, you're going to have a clear oil like this one. If you want to use this oil just as it is, it already has a pleasant fragrance. It has a kind of a pleasant fragrance, aroma. However, you know that there are people that like a particular kind of fragrance. So you can afford to use a fragrant oil of your choice. I have a lavender oil fragrance oil so to say so i can pour my lavender fragrance oil into my calendula and hemp seed oil and mix thoroughly so that i can apply this oil after taking my bath and if i have a cream that i'm using i can pour some quantity into the cream and mix thoroughly if not, if you have acne from skin, you can use this oil as a cleansing oil. You can wash your face in the evening or take your bath. Then you apply this oil on your face. That will cleanse your face deeply. And if you have eczema or acne on any part of your body, you can apply this oil on the affected part after cleaning or bathing your skin. And be careful with the kind of products you put on your skin. Check out for products that are comedogenic, products that can cause you acne. And you also need to check out products that bleach your skin. Some of those products you use in bleaching your skin in the name of trying to be beautiful are things that you ought to avoid if you already have an acne prone skin or eczema skin. If you must brighten your skin, there are many organic ingredients out there in the market. We have things like rice, you can use rice powder. We have things like lemon peel powder. We have orange peel powder. We have calendula powder. That's sunflower. We have carrots. You can make carrot oil. We have kojic acid, which is made from rice. We have a whole lot of other things. We have ascorbic, which is also a vitamin C in powdered form. And we have so many other things that are organic that you can use in brightening your skin. You don't have to bleach your skin. But if you must do that, then you have to be very, very careful on how you go about that, okay? So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your loved ones, and subscribe to this channel so as to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you.